Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft, and this is Richard, and today we are back at Juliet Mike, and I am going to be fishing for some crick chub and some small sunfish, and it's going to be a little different, so let's get set up and I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so today, and just as a reminder, uh... I had to actually glue the uh, the foot of the tripod onto the tripod itself so it does not move up and down uh, it broke and it just is unable to stay there without it being glued on so I took it up to the dojo and I uh, positioned it for class I glued it where it needed to be so I could do class and now I'm just going to have to adjust and use it that way permanently. It does not go up and down, so uh, the angles may be different now. And it may be more difficult to deal with stuff, but uh, I do still have the legs that move, so maybe I could lower the back two legs, which will prop it up, and maybe that's just how I'll have to do it anyway. Today is going to be a little different. Now I'm using the same fishing pole, I'm using the same lure, but I have a bucket today. Today I'm actually going to keep uh, a handful of fish. Uh, I am going to use them for a catfish bait uh, in the next few days. I plan on going out to a larger river and uh, uh, going out there and doing some catfishing. So I want to get some bait and this is the best place to get it. I'm just gonna to come to this little creek. I'm gonna catch a few bluegills and um, creek chub and use those as bait. I'll keep them in the bucket, I'll take them home. I'm gonna individually wrap them in uh, uh, baggies and then freeze them and I'll go through the whole process with you and uh, let's just get going fishing. First thing I'm going to do is get some water in this bucket. And let's see here. Excellent. Let's go catch a few fish. Okay, so I lowered the back two legs down a tad bit. Yeah, that'll work. So that gave me a good angle. Oh, there was a fish. Just look at that. <laughs> Whoa. Kind of muddy. There's a good one. It's a good spot. There he is. Oh, he got off. Throw over this way. Pull it, pull it back this way. Oh, oh crap, Ola. I got stuck on a log. Am I going to get it? There, I got it. Whew, there's a stick down there. I got stuck on it. There we go. Oh, I got him. Look at that huge, massive thing there. One little tinky dinky one. This is a better position for me, to be totally honest. Yeah. Wow. 
I don't know, maybe I fished this spot out the last time and they just aren't going to bite. Oh, there was a hit. I saw it. There's a few fish here. I got plenty of spots to play with today. We may have to actually move to a different spot. There's another little one in the bucket. Give this a handful more, and then I think I'll actually go to another spot. There, oh, there, there, oh, he hit it twice. Well, he touched it, he didn't really take it. There, dad yeah, came up to it, came up to it, but he didn't want to hit it. Touched it again. <laughs> yeah, he's not interested now. Ah, see, there we go. Yeah, it's knotted up. That's what we're after, right? The little ones. I'm a little nervous about getting closer to that tree. There we go. That's where I need to be. There he goes. Here we go. Nice little crick chub. Nice little crick chub. I was hoping to catch a couple of these into the bucket. We'll put that lid on there. He seems to want to jump around. It's getting really slippery here now. Started to wear it down. Give this a couple more and then I'll move. One more. If I don't get something, then I'll move down a bit. And 
Alright. Let's give this spot a little bit of a shot and see if we can't maybe pull something out of here. Oh, there's some hits. There Come on there we go all right and I didn't bring my pliers again today another little one in the bucket There he is. Yeah, that's a good sized one right there. It's actually really a good, good sunfish for here. Dude, he buried it too. All right. Well, I came all the way here to the end of the park where I was catching those one bluegill but everything is sh much shallower now and this is not gonna happen I can I can see the fish they're little dinky minnows but I'm not gonna catch anything with my lures I mean they're little there's a whole school of them but that's awful low and I can see to the bottom and I can see there's nothing there so I'm gonna head back the other direction well the creek is much more shallow than it usually is and it's pretty shallow as it is normally so it may be difficult to find spots that uh, could actually hold some fish, but we're just gonna throw it in and look. Let's show you what I'm talking about. So, here's a good example. Uh, here's a nice little stretch, but it, it's not deep in any means. It's only a, a foot or so deep at best and I can see the entire distance and I can see there's nothing down there now that doesn't mean I couldn't throw it in and possibly draw one out from underneath a rock or something that may be hiding there but let's see zoom down here a bit this is how most of the creek is right here super shallow I mean, you could walk across it practically without getting wet. That's how shallow it is. But we're going to keep looking. It is nice out here. It's hot. It's very humid out here today. Again, here's, here's a good example of what I'm dealing with with this, uh, with this branch of the, of the creek. 
so right here I mean it's beautiful but I'm, I'm not gonna catch any fish here And again, I'm walking out here. Uh, like I said, I could pretty much cross the creek at this point without even getting my feet wet.